Welcome to Really Room Tutorials. Today I will be showing you how to add a muscle flash in your scene using Blender. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the compositing tab on the top in Blender, select use nodes, click on the render layers, click X to delete, shift A to add, go to input, and select movie clip. You can click control shift click on the movie clip or you can go through the add process and that'll add a viewer node. Just click on open. I'm going to go to my desktop and I'm going to add the footage that I'm going to add the explosion on top of. So click open clip. Uh, once you've navigated to it, you can scrub through this and see what it looks like. That's about it. Click shift A to add. Go to input and select image. Well, we're going to be using videos, but for this we're going to need the image so we can decide where to place it in our scene. So to drop the image node into our scene, click on open. We're going to go back to wherever you have your muzzle flash saved. I'll leave a link in the description to a couple of different muzzle flashes. But you can just go off of YouTube and download a green screen muzzle flash or go, up, go uh, to a website and that should work out for you. Click open image and then click shift A to add. We're just going to search and type in alpha over and you're going to drop that between the movie clip and the viewer node. Drag the image output from the uh, muzzle flash file to the image on the bottom of the alpha over. So over here on the muzzle flash image node we'll have a couple things. We'll say frames, start frame, and offset. Frames is how many frames you're going to want this to be in. We're just going to set it to 200 for now just so that our video will, will be able to scrub through it. And there's start frame. That's when in your timeline you want it to start. And then offset. And that's where in the video you want it to start. We're going to leave the point for now. But if you scrub through, excuse me, the arrow keys, you can see we have our explosion, or not explosion, our uh, muzzle flash. Let me see. Click V to zoom out. And here it is. Alright. So that works out. Um, I'm going to go to the start right before the muzzle flash starts, so right here, so frame 11, and I'm going to change the offset to 11. That means it'll start 11 frames in, so if you go back to 0, it'll just start properly. You don't have to do that, but it makes it a lot easier. Alright, so right now there's a green there's just a big green screen covering our movie clip. Click Shift A to add. You can either click, go through a search or go through matte and select keying. Just drop that in place. The key color, we're going to change it. So we're going to click there, hit the eyedropper, and you can just select the green. And that'll just make it disappear. So here's, here it is so far. Let's find a, uh, we're just going to scrub through the timeline until we can see the middle flash. And we're going to move that into place. So right now it's backwards. It's shooting this way. We want it to go the opposite way. So click Shift A to add. Just going to search it. Uh, we're going to type in a flip, a flip node, and drop that right in between the key nodes. So right now it's flipped properly. Uh, we also want to add a transform node. So click Shift A to add. I'm in transform, and this is what we're going to use to rearrange our scene a little bit. So now if we scrub to the left, it'll drag it, the whole muzzle flash to the left or right of our scene. So I'm just going to drag it into place about, just about where I want it. We'll say there for now. Uh, now I'm going to scrub through and decide when I want the muzzle flash to happen. So here I'm just watching the uh, right there before she pulls the trigger, so right. I want to go where the uh, it's still down. 
So right here. All right. So I wanted to start on frame 45. So we're gonna go back over to our muzzle flash. We're gonna change the start frame from one to 45. So at the 45th frame, our muzzle flash is gonna start, as you can see. So we're just gonna go through and look like that. Now I'm going to actually go through and place it uh, exactly where I want it. Just drag it back into place. Let's see here. Right there's pretty good. I'm just gonna like that for now. It's not perfect, but it'll work. Uh, now something else you'll notice here is this big line. That's the border of the video. So what we're gonna do to fix that is we're going to add a uh, mask. So we're going to the rendering tab on the top. Where this little picture is, we're going to select the drop down arrow, select a viewer node. And here we can see what we're doing. Uh, you can't actually scrub through this at all right now. So what you can do is top left where it says view, select that and change it to mask. Then click new. All we're going to do is add a mask around the muzzle flash. You can do that by clicking control and then clicking. I'm just gonna, you know, loosely have it around there. Then just click Alt C, that'll close mask. And that's it. Now we'll go back to the compositing tab. Click Shift A to add. We're gonna type in mask to get us a mask node. We're going to change that. So if you click here, it'll change that mask to whichever one you have created. We're going to Take the output of the mask node and put it into the factor of the alpha over node. And that takes care of it. And as you can see that line is gone and so we masked out all of that. So now all you have to do is take the alpha over node and plug that into the composite. Now you can go through and render this right away. I'm actually going to change it just a little bit. I want to add some more uh, more contrast to there. So click Shift A to add. If you go to color, I'm going to use a hue saturation value. Just plug that in. I'm going to change the value a little bit. And you can just experiment with this. Kind of like it. I just want it a little bit darker. You don't really have to do this. This is definitely optional. I'm going to do it like that. That looks pretty cool. Uh, so now we're going to render this out. So go to your uh, render properties, or output properties. Go and change the output location. I'm going to put it on my desktop. I'm going to call this little slash tutorial. Save that. I'm going to change the file format from a PNG, which is a photo, to an FFmpeg video, which is a video file. Then I'm going to change the encoding from this to MPEG-4. And I'm going to change the output quality, it's under video, from medium, which is its default, just to high. And that'll be good enough for me. Uh, now if you go over here to the render on the top left, and select render animation. And you'll just see it go through and render. I'm just going to pause my video for now so you can see it when it's done. Now something I did forget to do was add, I want to stop this by clicking the X, was to add uh, an end frame. Right now the end frame is set to 250, but this uh, video here is not that long. So I'm going to go through and find the end frame, which is right here at 86. Click the end frame, I'm going to set it to 86, and that should fix that so it'll render properly. Because if you don't do that, it, you'll end up with a bunch of back black frames. Uh, now I'm going to render that out again. So click render and then render animation. And this should work. Alright, this video is finished. Uh, so now you can just go over here, X out of this. I'm just going to minimize this for now. And here's our muzzle flashes. One of these weren't right. Uh, this one I think I didn't set an in frame for, so it's kind of messed up. But you'll only have one if you do it right. I'm just gonna open that up. Let's see how it looks. And that's it. That's the muzzle flash. You can add a different 
different one if you want, but this is good enough for me. Uh, you can go through and add some sound effects to it. I'll leave a link to, in the description to a drive folder of sound effects as well as a few uh, muzzle flashes that you can try out. Uh, and I'll also leave a link to the picture of the node setup. So here, let's see here. So you might want to save this node setup just to make sure you don't forget how to do it. Uh, and that'll be all. So if you enjoy the video or learn something, please like and su subscribe. Thanks for watching.